So we are, where are we? We are hiking up Mount Thomas. No idea where we're going or what we're doing or how did anything. We're just venturing up a road into the middle of nowhere and seeing what happens. Hopefully getting to the top, which is very, very cloudy at the moment. So it's supposed to be like a three hour thing or something? We got some water. Some water and a dog. Last time I did one of these things, it turned into an eight hour thing where I had to wade down a river for like four hours, fell in it twice and got completely soaked, but it was fun. But that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Six hours into the journey now. Our water supply has all run out. It's really been about 10 minutes, and so far it's been gravel, pine trees, and gorse. And it looks like more ahead. Remember to turn around and look, eh? <laughs> Not out of breath. It's steeper than it looks. Quite a lot steeper. So it's like downhill mountain bike steep. Potential to break your own neck. Steep. <laughs> On a mountain bike. <laughs> It really isn't letting up, steepness wise. Just keeps going. This is all the water we brought between the two of us. We're not very clever. I mean, we could just see what dehydration does to you. Been there once before. You don't want to see it. It's fine for like three hours. I've had two tiny sips. Tiny. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> No gains without pain. Gage, I'm talking. No gains without pain. It's been a bit painful so far. Now we are entering the woods. I'll catch up. <laughs> Smell it? Smell what? Smells like honey. Can't hear that smells really good. Well at least we're in the trees now. It's a lot cooler. The incline's a bit nicer. Well, not really actually looking up there, but we've got to be getting close to something. So what do you reckon, like an hour in? I don't even know if we're that, maybe 50 minutes. We've been through a lot of different environments, as you've been yeah. seeing. I didn't get the sweat on, for sure. How are you doing? Tip top. I'm as fit as a fiddle. This is harder than what I would like it to be. It's quite steep. If only we had a mountain bike to go back down. Sure. <laughs> I'll just ride you. Thoughts on the rock climb? It's going up again. It was nice. It did the wibbly wobblies. Thought we were at the top. Yeah, it was going up. Quite steeply. There's a little green mountain, which I want to investigate. It wasn't a moss covered hedgehog, which if you don't know what a hedgehog is, it's like a small porcupine, but it was a little mound of nothing. I'd expect people to know what a porcupine is, but not a hedgehog. This 
this is the kind of forest I'd imagine like it's that witch tale like wild witch of the west or something just to be waiting over there watching or some kind of swamp creature even though we're on the top of a mountain well we're at the edge of the forest it opens up and I'm feeling rain running out of water and you're a bit tired let's see what's up here So the only sign we can see back to where we came from is to go back the way we came essentially but there is something pointing to the summit whether there is then something to go further past that we don't know so we're just going to walk this way for a while see if we can get better reception get a map see what's going on and then make a decision from that for now we're walking very much into the fog Dario's finally got reception on his phone and I think he's just figured out where we are. I'm a little bit tired, so is Gage. It's getting a little bit colder now that we're in the cloud. To be fair, we're already at the height. We're higher than the summit. Happy? I'm ready for home now. <laughs> <Lovely> <laughs> Seems like this area is quite wet, judging by how green it is at least. Ow! Bush got me! It's breeding. Better? Now hurry up. <laughs> I'm just telling them how much of a good dog he is. Oh, he's the best dog in the world. Well, except for the kisses. They're not great. They're a bit stinky. So we've just come across something. It's a slip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly or not so slowly descending into we don't know what. Slowly and then suddenly very quickly. <laughs> We're still 40 minutes away. I thought we were almost there for sure. Or we could go an hour that way. No, go for Bye. Bye. One more fork in the road in a reasonably unclear path, but it's gotta be that way. It has yeah, to be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. So we thought the times didn't line up because apparently that last little stretch would only took five minutes, but it wasn't five minutes. <laughs> what happened after that? We turned around. <laughs> Came back, looked at the sign, looked at maps, figured out actually we want to go over the bridge. Yes, that's exactly how it happened. What? Oh, let's go! I would have just I had a slightly a longer hike. It's what my cocoa. <laughs> okay, Cage, I'm done. <laughs> we're well, seriously supposed to be done with the up now. We're going down, but we're going up. And this has been a steep up. Gage still has infinite energy though. We made it. 
in one piece. I feel okay. How do you feel? Not too bad now. Yeah. You know, I, I had a moment of just before we got to the summit, a little bit on the down and outs. This one helped put me out. Also, the downhill for you. You always perk up with that. Oh, I'm fine with downhill. Oh, I don't. And we're back. So we got this place, it's an Airbnb. Nice little quaint spot in the country, out of the city. And there's birds, there's actual birds. Grassroots doesn't have any birds. And possums, possums screaming in the middle of the night. There's some horses over there. There's some other dogs we gauge to play with. It's everything. We're gonna light the fire and eat. That took us what, how long? I have no idea. That's probably about three, four hours all up. So it wasn't a massive hike. But um, solid. Ticks the cardio box. More adventures to come, more builds to come, and hopefully some new stuff, some artsy stuff, and other things we want to try out as well. So keep watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.